Hello everyone, and welcome. I was playing a little from the depths, and I was messing around with this cannon design. I think my guy's sinking below the ship somewhere. Anyway, you've got to see this. This is ridiculous. I'm going to spawn a ransack. Just, just watch this. This is a 500 millimeter cannon. I don't know, but I think I may have gone a little overboard. Reload time on this thing is ridiculous as well. <laughs> but it killed this thing. That is so funny. So let's take a look inside. This is the inside. There are 60 4 meter auto loaders in here. The guy's still sinking somewhere below the ship. So, this thing gets 60 shots, and the cooldown, if my guy will stop sinking, is 0 0.2 seconds. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have him teleport to the blasted ship. That should fix the problem, right? There's my guy. That'll fix the problem. Okay. Let's take a closer look. 0 0.2 seconds. Now, unfortunately, I almost multiplied the uh, reload time by 3. But the shell diameter, you can see... 500 millimeter. This thing's ridiculous. In fact, I, I keep thinking that I need to knock off at least one of these levels of coolers, whatever the hell they're called, just to make it a little less overpowered. Because it shoots its entire magazine so fast that with some of the bigger ships, it doesn't actually have a chance to kill them. Once this thing eventually reloads, I'll spawn something smaller. Nothing small survives. This thing just shoots a few shots and it's over. There it goes. Reload is ridiculously fast once it starts. It says 100 shells no matter how many magazines I put on. I'm not sure why. I currently have this thing set up. It's a 4 meter shell. It's got a Sabo head, Sabo body, one of the cavitation bases, and then everything else is gunpowder. Gives it an estimated velocity of, I think, 705 meters per second. Let's, yeah, we'll just go with something small. A river home. Look at this. It's already blown up the magazine. <laughs> AI's dead. And it's out of ammo already. It's just ridiculous. I think I need to uh, <laughs> to do something about that. There's no way I can leave this thing like this. I'm definitely leaving everything inside, though. There's no way I'm getting rid of all these magazines. The best part is this thing can actually spin in here. I guess the best way to show that would be to destroy all vehicles and load it in sideways. Let's see, where's my guy at? Just floating over here. I guess I could have left him floating, couldn't I have? Oh well. This is why we've got the helicopter guy. He makes his way over here much faster. A lot less dipping into the ocean. Okay, let's spawn something. Just do a little room. Watch this cannon will turn all the way around. Not a problem. Get in here. See? Plenty of room for this ridiculous thing in here. <laughs> Look at all that smoke. 
I'm definitely going to have to cut that fire rate. It's just too fast. Way too fast. I mean, I love it, but a, <laughs> a 500 millimeter machine gun was not really what I had in mind. If it was less accurate, then maybe it would work. But it's a little too accurate. Especially with the larger ships. Let's get it out of here again. And load in something a little larger. I don't think it'll be able to to take anything larger than a ransack. At least I've tried it before and it wasn't able to. The plunderer. It's not going to be able to kill this. It does some serious damage. I mean, those shells just go clean through. Yeah, just destroyed the turret. I have no protection on the turret whatsoever. And there's not enough protection on the hull. It's just carving right through it. If it hits that magazine, the whole front of the ship will explode. I think... No. No, I don't think it hit it. Looks about the same as it did before. Not that it matters, the gun's gone. We did a reasonable amount of damage, it just... We ran out of ammo too quickly. It doesn't uh, switch from target to target quickly enough. It does kind of make me wonder what it would do with high explosive shells. Let's try that real quick, just for fun. I mean, this isn't ridiculous enough, right? We have to make it explosive too. Now, just for fun, I'm going to get rid of pretty much everything on this. <laughs> I guess there was still a uh, torpedo in the water. We'll jack this up all the way, just so you can see the stats as I do this. Now, I don't like to put much gunpowder in when I'm going HE. So, over 3,300 expected explosive damage. I don't know if I have to click that button or not, I just do it. Just in case. Where did that torpedo hit us? Was it anywhere important? Back here, okay. Not a big deal. <laughs> this is, I just expect this to be ridiculous. We'll do another ransack for no plunder. Well, we know we can destroy the ransack, so let's just do that to see what happens. <laughs> These 500 millimeter shells, every time one of them hits with high explosive, you get that slowdown effect. Is it fired everything already? Oh no, I think it destroyed the enemy already. Yeah, it did. Nice. So, maybe not quite as fast, but pretty darn effective. I still need to slow down the fire rate. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, the gun did get hit, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Maybe that's why it stopped shooting. It's pretty simple, you know, up top when everything's down below. Just run a hole through the deck, make sure it can spin, and you're fine. Actually, I got a bunch of these six-way connectors in here to give myself something to mount the other auto loaders on. 
I started off with just 20 on either side and decided to expand it later. Give it a minute to reload and we'll see if it can take out a plunderer. Just for the fun of it. It does not seem to have taken much damage. So we must have knocked the guns out pretty fast. High explosive is surprisingly effective. Unless the enemy has shields, in which case I have not found a good way to get the HE shells to explode and take out the shields. This is going to take forever. Might be faster to just spawn another one and reconfigure the ammo. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Just for fun. We'll see with this fully automatic. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at it go. One problem I found with this 500mm HE. It has a tendency to penetrate the hull before exploding. Oh my. Well, there isn't really much left inside, is there? The real problem is it runs out of ammo too fast. And so it gets sunk by this thing just because this thing is too big. Okay, I think that's enough messing around. I just thought that was ridiculous enough that it deserved a video. I'm not actually going to use that cannon anywhere. Ever. It's just too fast. I'm going to cut some of these... Some of these cooling things off of here. And cut that fire rate down to hopefully no more than half a second. Because... Two-tenths of a second is way too fast. So thanks for watching, everyone.